uh, just starting at the Murray Game Jam 2015, so we've got to make a game in 48 hours under the brief, now you see it, now you don't. We've got uh, three programmers, a producer and an artist. We're all first years. This is our first game jam as well. First I was surprised how much support there is generally in Scotland, but this is even better because you meet a lot of like-minded individuals. The thing I like about gaming is that it takes all the good stuff about the technical world and all the good stuff from the creative world and slams them together. And it's just a really exciting thing to do, to be honest. We've come up with a pretty interesting idea where you're in a Mayan temple collecting treasure. We need to be very careful not to over-complexify the game because that was one of the pitfalls we fell into last year. Uh, currently going through the planning stage, getting some ideas for the theme. I'm thinking of getting a survival game going with uh, some mechanics in there that makes the player invisible. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Apparently the, it can get quite busy and hot in the room. My role would probably be programming mostly, but also helping out in the design side of it. So this is our first game jam, so um, it's kind of not over anticipating what's going to happen or overthinking things or making things too complicated and then running out of time at the end um, would probably be the biggest problem we'd run into. Uh, my role on the team will be based more on the visual aspects, doing the art and um, getting the thing looking good, hopefully. We both have quite a few skills that we can sort of like consolidate into uh, one thing. So as part of this year's Murray Game Jam, we decided to do a series of open workshops which are kind of open to, to members of the public, anyone interested in getting into games design for the first time. I've come along because I'm interested in game development. It's, it's fun, do what you enjoy, and I definitely enjoy playing games, so I'd love to learn to make them. Usually in development of a game you'd have loads of time for the planning, for the development, for the creation of assets, but in a game jam you just have to boom, 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 produce everything really quickly and um, just do the best you can in the period you've got. Less than 24 hours to go and we're right on track. We've managed to do about half the game and the rest is on its way, so I'm really excited to see everyone's games at the end. You just have to find out what's your passion and you have to excel at that. You have to be a super abundant creator in that. Being merely good won't be good enough. There's a lot of people out there who are good. You have to overachieve. Discipline makes a good game. Um, you've got 48 hours. I don't want to see anything that features a blue hedgehog. I don't want coins being collected. I don't want princesses being rescued. Give me originality. Give me creativity. Give me something new. Show me that the indie revolution isn't just happening in America. Come on, Elgin. You can do it. Experience and a few last minute bugs, a few as I look at pages and pages and pages of errors. We've got about half an hour left, maybe 20 minutes, so we're just kind of trying to rush to get it finished. Um, yeah, we managed to finish. Um, we got most, almost everything that we wanted in, so um, and we're pretty pleased with it. Assuming they don't bounce up and start targeting and stuff. The winner of the Murray Game Jam 2015 is... Corey. Uh, yes, I did not expect that, seemed only on my own, so...